Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're making almond danishes and we need two eggs, not just one, because we, but two eggs, I'll explain it to you later. We need the vanilla, we need almond flour, sugar, raisins, butter at room temperature, and a pinch of salt and uh, some baking powder. Don't forget that the ingredients, the exact amounts are in the description box below. The first thing I do is I mix the wet ingredients, egg and vanilla, because then all the ingredients, all the paste that is gonna end up out of that filling, you know, all the filling is gonna have the vanilla flavor. Put a pinch of salt. Now I'm adding the, the flour, and I guess that day I was spaced out because I kept the same tool. That utensil I'm using that little whisk to do that and you're gonna see what's gonna happen I normally change tools and what I grab after I mix the eggs is a fork it's a lot easier to do with a fork and a spatula but that day I wasn't thinking I guess so we're mixing all the ingredients and we're going to turn all that into a homogeneous paste and we're going to set it aside then we're going to flour the countertop and we're going to stretch the puff pastry as i said you can buy well i said it in a in other videos and i will leave them there for you to to click on them if you want to see you can buy the puff pastry in the grocery store in the frozen section and each box has two sheets and you can uh, mix uh, nine little danishes like that so you know from each uh, dough so you will have 18 total or you can just make nine and then save the the dough for the other dough for another time. And I'm stretching the dough to 12 inches by 12 inches in centi centimeters is 30 centimeters is 30.48 but you know 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters and I'm going to cut them into nines you see the lines I'm gonna cut them along the lines and that's going to turn into nine squares or rectangles some look like squares others like rectangles and well i'm before i even start doing that i have two trays with parchment paper so i'm already ready then you put all the filling in there you can help yourself with the two spoons It's easier to do that way. I put five uh, five pies on one uh, or five danishes in one tray and four on the other one because it is easier to work that way. You always want to make things easier for you in the kitchen. You you don't want to complicate your life too much. Once you do that. Then we put the egg wash around the the pastry. And then we're going to fold them into envelopes or it's almost like gift wrapping, you know. And this almond uh, filling is my favorite one I really really recommend that you try it and then you can say you know well I didn't like it or yes I did but this is my favorite one to do it is really really delicious it's not like the ones that you get in the supermarket you know that they put artificial vanilla and artificial almond flavor this is the real deal So you fold it over, then fold the next corner over the first one, 
and do the same with the other two. And you're making your envelopes or your or your gift wrapping, if you will. And this is the easiest uh, way to fold this. There are a million ways of folding uh, this type of pastry draw. Uh, yeah, of puff pastry draw. This is the easiest one, and they turn out really, really cute and tasty and flaky. In the next ones, in these ones, as, as you probably noticed, I didn't put the raisins because there are some people that like raisins and other people that do not like raisins. So, and I separate them once I bake them, you know, I know where I put the raisin ones and the ones without raising and then I separate them and once they have cooled down completely I wrap them in plastic wrap and put them in the freezer and I take them out of the freezer as I need them and we heat them and eat them for breakfast or for dessert And this is a really good idea too if you are going to have company because you can make this a week ahead of time or a couple of days ahead of time. Put them in the freezer and once you have company, once you just uh, reheat them. Put them in the oven at 300 degrees or preheat the oven at 300 degrees and put them in there for 10-12 minutes. Now we have to let them uh, rise for 45 minutes. Then we put the egg wash on top and we're going to put uh, refined white sugar on top. Don't put uh, crystals, sugar crystals, because that's really bad on your teeth and your tongue. You can cut your tongue actually with that. And the sugar will help them, help them get uh, a little golden. You don't have to put a ton of sugar, just a little bit of it. They go into the oven at 375 and you bake them between 20 and 25 minutes, but always look at the window of your oven after 20 minutes to see if they're ready. Now I have to taste them. Thank you for the like. If you haven't subscribed, please do so for more videos. I have a ton of videos that are really interesting. They're not just uh, my channel, it's not just about pastry. And uh, share it with your friends. It's really nice, it's flaky. <laughs> Mm. Delicious. Mm. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Chaito.